What's so educational about Flickr? 2800 uploads in the last 60 seconds. 2.8 million items geotagged just this month. I teach photography at a public high school in Illinois. Our private Flickr group has been in use for almost five years. There are over 3,400 student artifacts. There are 147 discussion threads. There are 517 members. Why so many? Because students find it so engaging, a significant number of them continue to participate even when the class is over, some even after graduating from high school, usually those who continue to study photo and art at college. All the work you're seeing here is the chronological work of all my students for the past five years. Over 100 universities, and in addition, 60 college admission departments use Flickr accounts to connect with students. The School of the Art Institute of Chicago has a Flickr account that shows exemplary portfolios that students can consider. Students in different stages of the program can see each other's work as well. This makes the program self-promoting. My freshmen can see the kind of work they'll be able to achieve if they stay with the program and continue and rise to the AP level. Any group, any account, any image can be either completely private, available only to friends, only to family, or to the whole world. I have four sections of Photo 1, often at any given semester. Students are able to not just talk and communicate and share with the students in their class, they can also share with the Photo 1 students in all the other classes. Then they have a group, a peer group of 80 to well over 100 of their peers, so their peer group has now been quintupled. Students are required to experiment with different methods to solve the same problem. They have to post the results and the links to the information that they got to create these different results online. They can also comment on each other's work and describe which one they think is the most effective and why. Students who would never consider talking in class, who would never consider commenting on another student's work, are surprisingly eager to participate once the participation does not have to be verbal. Students who end up taking advanced classes in the AP classes end up having a tangible, real, and unlosable record of all their work. Not only that, several students have written me from college to tell me that their photo teachers at college have asked them to open up a Flickr account, but they already had one because the records and the artifacts of their learning aren't in a box or on a CD or lost or recycled or thrown away by accident. They're right there for them all the time, the next time they want to step back and start learning again.